Welcome back to my channel. So myself Shruti Mori, a second year B pharmacy student. Today in my video, I'll be sharing how I take notes. But I don't have a prettiest aesthetic notes that you would find on Google, Pinterest and any other platform. These are my last semester organic chemistry notes and my subjects are those which have diagrams and structure as I am a pharmacy student and my notes are mostly in a point form or in a chart form but sometimes I use tabular form also. These are my note taking essential which is really affordable and you will find these stationery items in local shop as well as on Amazon and Flipkart. A classmate notebook for writing purpose. Some highlighters you can choose by yourself. Some pens and pencil. I prefer black and blue pens. Colored pentonic gel pens. Camlin sketch pens for making boxes for formulas or any other. So, first thing is I am a person who loves all colors so mostly I am going to use all of them in my notes. I usually write topic names or title in bold color letter so that it will be easy to find out the topic which I want to refer while studying. To write the title is totally depends upon you whether you can use calligraphy, block letters or any other method. I am just writing this title in my way to show you as an example. You can personally customize your notes. But do what you like, just take inspiration from other people. Now here I am writing some basic introduction as a starting part of my notes. I have seen few people who make use of tabular form or paragraph form in their notes. And it's totally up to you whether you are going to make chart form, tabular form or any other method. Now I am highlighting a scientist's name and a year because I feel it is important from my view. I have taken this notes from reference book and some handwritten notes because every time I can't refer different books for revision. Now you can see I am using different color pens and highlighters for point and that's depend on you but mostly I would like to suggest you to write notes in a bullet and in chart form because it helps a lot. So now I have made a complete different section by using chart form so that it will be more easy to differentiate points of that topic. But if you feel a particular topic is more important then you can use a sticky note to highlight them. In this, I haven't used post-it notes because I don't feel anything is important in this topic. But post-it notes are really useful because you can remove it and paste it again when you want. So this is how I space out my notes in heading, titles, subtitles and points. I try to use very less paragraph in my notes as it will help me while revising a topic very quickly. I used paragraph for writing answers of important question otherwise I prefer pointers because it is one of the best method. Now my notes are very minimal and they do not look like a coloring book as well so that's how I liked it. And I think you must do this to get extra marks that will be more beneficial to you now i am leaving space for lecture notes because if i mix them together then it will be inconvenient for me to revise them note taking is a kind of art you never knew how artistic it looks like i started this type of note taking from 11th and 12th because i find this method is easy to revise any topic for mcq and further now i realize that taking note is a type of content making like making your notes beautiful other than aesthetic so this is my way of taking notes and do comment down what's your method of taking notes and i hope you like my video so please do like and don't forget to subscribe my channel for further updates
एंड आई विल सी यू इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो तब तक के लिए बाय बाय